Hey guys, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day here on Mother Earth. Enjoying Mother Nature. <laughs> Steve Polinka was asking about I was shooting left. Why do I always shoot left? That's what he's saying. Well, there's a few reasons. If you hold the back of the arrow to the right of your eye, you'll shoot to the left. If you don't get your elbow all the way back and relaxed, you can easily shoot to the left. Okay, so again, if you have your eye lined up here and you put your arrow on the right, even though it looks straight, it's going to shoot to the left. Okay? If you hold your bow vertical and your spine is heavy, you'll shoot to the left. As you cant your bow, the arrow flicks more towards the target so it's not as critical but if you want to hold that bow vertical you can easily shoot to the left you can also put a heavier point on your arrow that will bring it a little bit more to the right okay now one of the really biggest reasons why you shoot to the left is because of your weak eye taking over if you are the kind of guy that likes to hold your, your head sideways your left eye is getting closer to the target and it will take over and I'll tell you take your thumb and put it up in front of your eye and close your left eye and you'll see you cannot see through your thumb open your left eye and you can but now if I close my right eye my thumb goes over to the right now this is why you have a problem so when when you're looking and you close the left eye okay you'll see your thumb move to the right and what you would do if that was your arrow is you would put the arrow tip back on except that when you shoot you're going to shoot to the left because of the weak eye taking over so if you turn your head like that and you'll start to get your arrow over to the right you will compensate by bringing the tip back and again shooting that way so those are the main reasons you're just deliberately anchoring to the right if you're doing that experiment move it a little to the left if you're shooting left move it to the left if you're shooting right move it to the right and that will correct it okay relax that arm if that arm is not completely relaxed you're not hitting the target anyhow that's the most critical part about getting the, the shot straight so watch your eyes, watch your elbow, Just hold it on nice and steady, and you'll have a fair bit of a chance. And when you do that, then you start getting some hits on the target, wherever the target went, oh, there it is there, okay, okay, so that's how you get your hits. 
back in a minute. Well, guys, you know, if your weak eye is taking over, one alternative is to close it. If you close your weak eye, it will not be a problem. Right? Trees. Another thing that you can do is cant your bow more. The lower your cant, the more right your arrow will go. But weak guy takeover is a big problem. Happens a lot. Weak eye takeover. Again, the main cause is because you're holding your head too far this way. A lot of guys do it. You watch a lot of guys. They aim like that, like they're peeking around a corner. Get your head on square. Not like that. Like that. That's all you got to do. When the hawk dives, its eyes are parallel, like side by side, like this. They're not like that. Don't do that. It's a mistake. Okay. So those are the kinds of things. Again, you can close one eye. That will get rid of your weak uh, eye takeover. Make sure that arm is back and relaxed. You're not going to hit the target anyhow if it's not back and relaxed. Okay? But uh, keep your head more square on. Get it back and relaxed. You should have a chance. Okay? And when you do that kind of stuff, of course, you start to get some hits. Okay? Okay, back in a minute. Well, guys, the sun is starting to go down over the hill already. You can see snow on the lee side of the hills, but on this side, sun melted at all. But, uh, you can see it's getting, uh, I can see, just see my breath a little bit, so it's cooling down quick. Really enjoying this uh, idea of the parallel draw. Yeah, I'd say that having a relaxed right arm is the most important single thing that, uh, that I have to do. Yep, relax that right arm, let it fall in line. It's a big deal. Without a relaxed arm, there's always tension in the bow, some sort of torquing. Again, I've switched back to both eyes again. I guess you know that, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. It's 
So, both eyes on the target, open the hand, let the bow follow that string, draw it back with a relaxed arm until it comes all the way back. And then you just line it up, bring it in to the magic spot, tips on. Magic spot's on, the relaxed arm is on, let go. When you do that, you'll get your hits. Well, have fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.